Today, I'm going to show you guys how to build a quiz up in JavaScript. Let's get straight into it. So first, you got to define your HTML structure like this. In the body, we have two divs, one with an ID of quiz and one with an ID of score. This quiz up will be a quiz where you are asked what is the capital of a country and if you get the capital right, you get a point and you get a final score. So first, you need to make an array. Call it answers. Then we're going to be using some JavaScript objects to store the information. We're gonna have one called country. Let's use Australia and then for the capital we're gonna use Canberra. For the country, we're gonna use Qatar and for its capital, that's Doha. Next, we're actually going to be displaying it dynamically using a for loop. So first you want to add a text variable that will help with the text. Then what a for loop I equal to zero i is less than answers dot length then i plus plus then text plus equal and we're going to be using a string literal that'll be h1 and we're going to say what is the capital of and then dollar sign two curly braces answers then we're going to identify it by the index so use i dot country so if we save that it oh wait Okay, that's a flop. We're supposed to we're supposed to display it. Get element by ID it's quiz, which you should have had before. So if you didn't, make sure that you have a, a div with an ID of quiz, and we display text. And there you go. Now it works. Now in it, I'm going to add in a input tab type text where the user can put in their answers just like that all right now that that's done we are going to create a button where when the user clicks on it they can submit their answers i'm not going to do it with html instead i'm going to do a, another string literal and i'm just going to do button like that then say submit all right now that we got our button now we need to figure out a way to actually check if the user has the correct answers so once again i'm gonna come down here and i'm gonna add a function called check answers i'm gonna add a score variable then another for loop this time i want to use x x is less than answers dot length x plus plus and then we're gonna add a variable called response and then with the response you want to get um each individual input tag so let me document that get element um actually you now i'm thinking about it let's add an id to it so id equal answers i dot country and then to lower so that way it's lowercase so i'm going to check that in inspect and as you can see it's in lowercase just like that so when you say get element by id with the string i'm going to keep saying itinerary string literal and then same as down below here copy paste dot dot value so what this variable will do is that it will get the response of each individual input tag in the for loop so the loop will go through each individual tag if that makes sense then now we need an if statement that says if the user didn't if the user didn't input any information or didn't type in an answer then it won't return anything so that would be if response dot value so actually i'm going to remove value right here response dot value equals to nothing like that and we just return null, just like that. But then now, if response.value equals to the answer, so I'm gonna say answers dot answer i dot capital this time. So if response equals to the capital that we have up here, then score plus equal one. Or you can use score plus plus, but I'm using this. I'm going to come down to the button on click check answers but we need to actually display the score remember that we actually have a div element of score right here so what i'm going to do is that when user clicks it will actually display the score element i'm just going to say score plus the score 
plus um, and then uh, answers dot length which should be two that should be equal to two yeah i think that's the end so we're gonna test it out see if this thing works so what's kept of australia i don't know sydney what's kept of qatar oh doha i think we submit it doesn't work why doesn't it work oh yeah this is why i think we could just add it answers by capital maybe that's why let's see if this works nothing oh wait i made a mistake this should just be to con the country not to lowercase oops maybe it'll work now nope is this not working like what i swear to god i like went through this son oh i'm such a me i forgot it's supposed to be x not i oh my god now it should work oh my god it's still oh wait should be too lower yeah too lower case Oh, there you go. No, it works. <laughs> and then... <sighs> fine. Alright. There you go. No, it works. God, that's embarrassing. Two or case it should have been kept. And then it should have been X instead of I. No, it works. So let's say... Let's say... Sydney. Doha. One. Let's say... Canberra. Yeah, yeah, it works. But this should be camera, this should be Doha. Two. There we go. We're done. Now, there's some CSS right here that I commented. And if we save that, then there we go. This one just comment. There we go. Now we have our own quiz app in JavaScript. Thanks for watching. Peace out.